Hi and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with a stamp set that has just been released by My Favorite Things and as much as it is very difficult to pick a favorite from every one of their releases, this definitely has to be the one this month. It is called Sprinkling You with Love and it comes with adorable bears as well as bunnies. And for my design today I'm going with the bear on the cloud that's holding a watering can and also the bear and the bunny that are holding umbrellas. I'm also going to stamp a few clouds. I am planning to use my alcohol markers to color everything, that's why I used extreme black ink by my favorite things which is alcohol marker friendly. If you follow my videos you already know that I am not an expert on uh, coloring with alcohol markers. I like to mainly focus on designing a project rather than spending hours and hours of blending with alcohol markers. That's why my go-to markers lately are the three blends just because I do have all the three shades that I need in one barrel. So here I'm using the fair skin blend, I also used the tan blend for coloring the other bear and I went with a rainbow order for the umbrellas. There are matching dies available, I do use my snip tool there to separate all the dies and I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out all my images including the clouds. I love dimension on a card so this way I can pop all the images on top of my card base. Now, in terms of a card, I'm going with a mini slimline card today. It's a new card size that I absolutely adore lately. Probably because it is a new size for me and it gives me a new challenge, so I don't get bored always with standard A2 cards. I want to white emboss those droplets as if they are coming out from the watering pan. That's why I temporarily place the images where I need them to be. And now I can go ahead and stamp with Versamarking. I did prep my cardstock beforehand with an embossing bag just to make sure that when I apply white embossing powder it's only going to stick on the stamped image and not all over the place. I always use fine embossing powder, it really picks up every little detail. And I'm going to grab my heat gun and melt the embossing powder. Little tricks like using the embossing pack beforehand to remove static electricity or having your heat can uh, really hot before you apply the heat on your cardstock can really make a difference. However, in this case you can see probably that I do end up having a little warping on my cardstock. That's not a big problem, I'm going to show you later on how I will fix that. I'm also preparing my sentiment, I went with sprinkling you with love and I'm going to white emboss it on black cardstock. I like white sentiments on a black background, I feel like it helps the sentiment pop even more. At the back of my blue background I'm going to add foam tape, I'm going to make sure that I apply a good amount on both the edges, this is going to keep that cardstock quite flat since it did warp when I was doing the heat embossing. So now I'm going to place that on my card base it's a mini slimline card that's three and a quarter by six and a quarter. And with all that foam tape at the back, it stays nice and flat. I will add foam tape at the back of my sentiment, the back of the bears, and it's time to put everything together. So first the sentiment goes on top of the panel, and this is going to provide kind of a ground for my bear and the bunny that are holding the umbrellas. And here is the bear on the cloud with a watering can. I still have a couple of clouds that I'm going to add on the background. These are going directly on top of my card base, completely flat with glue. And at this stage you can call the card done. I'm going to show you a few little details that you can add here and there to take it to the next level. So here all I do is coloring a part of this scrap piece of cardstock, since I want that to be red. And the color that I'm using is the exact same red color that I use for the umbrella. I'm going to uh, bring in this die that cuts out different sizes of tiny little hearts. I'm sure you all have some uh, heart dies in your stash. I'm going to end up with tiny little hearts. I'm only going to use three of them just because I like odd numbers. And they match perfectly the red on my card base. So I'm going to add them along those uh, droplets. So little hearts are falling from that watering can as well as water and he is actually sprinkling the other two with love. 
when it comes to cute creature stamp sets, you can never go wrong with my favorite things. Every month they come up with amazing designs and I absolutely love this one. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment and as always below the video in the description area as well as on my blog you will find a full list of all the supplies that I used for today's card. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I hope you will all have a lovely day.